For CNN, the headaches surrounding events leading up to and including the firing over the weekend of star anchor Chris Cuomo don't look to be dissipating anytime soon. If anything, the whole affair looks like it's about to get a lot messier, and even more problematic for the network. Just days after Cuomo's firing this weekend over a sexual misconduct allegation, which came to light amid a release of new records from the New York Attorney General's office, as well as of a report from the law firm Kravitz Swain and more, the now ex-anchor was trying to drag CNN President Jeff Z. Andrew Cuomo, during the latter's own sexual harassment scandal. That's before new information, however, came to light over the past week which took what previously had been merely an eyebrow-raising blurring of journalistic lines on Cuomo's part, and added two compounding factors. One, that it seems Cuomo was much more involved with helping his brother navigate the earlier scandal than the network apparently realized at the time. And, two, an unrelated sexual misconduct claim against the younger Cuomo was also now added to the mix. Nevertheless, the anchor's statement pointed a finger at CNN Zucker, Mr. Cuomo has the highest level of admiration and respect for Mr. Zucker, reads the statement from Cuomo's spokesman. They were widely known to be extremely close and in regular contact, including about the details of Mr. Cuomo's support for his brother. There were no secrets about this, as other individuals besides Mr. Cuomo can attest. CNN, for its part, spent Sunday and Monday working to knock down the implication in that statement, that he had Zucker's imprimatur or some sort of cover for any of this. One CNN source described that claim to me as, in a word, bogus. We are disappointed with Chris' statement, reads the network's official response. He has made a number of accusations that are patently false. This reinforces why he was terminated for violating our standards and practices, as well as for his lack of candor. Meantime, the cascading fallout from Cuomo's firing continues to mount. And it includes Michael Smirconish's filling in, for now, during Cuomo's 9 p.m. Eastern Time slot this week. The network has also said that producers and staffers who work on the Cuomo Prime Time show will remain in place. This all follows the swift series of events in the wake of CNN's announcement on Saturday, heralding Cuomo's termination. Just hours after that, the New York Times reported that an attorney, Deborah Katz, had informed CNN she represents a client with an allegation of sexual misconduct against Cuomo.